To write the balanced net ionic equation for barium hydroxide plus sodium sulfate, we first need to balance the molecular equation. To do that, all we need to do is put a 2 in front of the sodium hydroxide. So the molecular equation is balanced. Now we write the state for each substance. That'll look like this. Both barium hydroxide and sodium hydroxide, these are strong bases. So we consider these strong electrolytes, they'll split apart into their ions. Compounds with sodium, very soluble. And quite often, compounds with the sulfate are soluble, with a few exceptions. And one of the exceptions is barium sulfate. It's insoluble. These two substances react. We get this insoluble compound. It's a solid, falls to the bottom of the test tube as a precipitate. So those are the states for our net ionic equation. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into ions for the complete ionic equation. That'll look like this. So this is the balanced complete ionic equation. Now we can cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides of that complete ionic equation. So we see in the reactants here, we have these two hydroxide ions. We also have them here in the products. These are spectator ions, so we can cross these out two sodium ions, and again, in their products here, two sodium ions, spectator ions, cross them out. What's left is the net ionic equation for BaOH2 plus Na2SO4. Let's remove the spectator ions. And this is the balanced net ionic equation for barium hydroxide plus sodium sulfate. You can see that the atoms, they're balanced, and the charge, it's balanced too. We have a two plus, two minus, that adds up to zero, net charge of zero here in the reactants. In the products, Barium sulfate, this is a neutral compound, net charge of zero, so charge is balanced. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.